Well, thankfully, uh, Microsoft Whiteboard doesn't automatically erase things because my last video did not convert correctly. So here we are, reflected ceiling plan legend. Sorry, I did not um, talk about this more clearly in class. I get to the end of lectures and I hurry and I forget to go into detail on things or whatnot. So here I am explaining things in detail. Reflective ceiling plan legend. You're making it in a legend the way you did uh, for your other legends. And then you're getting the symbols from the library in your browser below where your sheets are. Um, and it's how you got your doors and your walls and for your other legend. You're gonna find your troffer, put the spec in, get another troffer, put the hatch in, the spec in. If you did two by fours, you would be the do the two by fours, want you know both whichever you used for the two by fours. Maybe you didn't use the two by twos, I don't know, whatever you used for the troffers. And you would have your recessed can spec. If you use the pendant light, I would put in the symbol and then the spec of that you get online. Use a symbol, something like this. You can make it like that. The Revit pendant symbols, there's not very many pendant lights in Revit. And the one that they have is a really big and it makes a really big symbol. And you don't want that because they're small pendants. So you can go on Revit City or you can go on a manufacturer's website and try to find a small pendant um, or just make it yourself with detail lines and then put in specification. Switches would just be a two-way switch and it just says two-way switch, that's it, nothing else. Three-way switch, three-way switch, nothing else. You will make a square with your detail lines, the same size as your troffers. And that will say ACT CA 3.1 for specifications. Then you're gonna make another square and that's gonna have the sand hatch in it. And that's gonna say gypsum board ceiling. No specifications for that because that's not our job. And then the air return and air supply, you would get in the same place that you're getting your offers. You would just put air to return, air supply, no need to put in the specifications for that. Uh, should be the only thing that's on that plan. So this would become your, your legend. So I'm only doing this on Microsoft Whiteboard. If you need me to show you how to do it in Revit, email me and I will um, do another tutorial about how you get to the legends. Um, you could probably just watch the wall and door legend. And then it's basically the same thing. Make sure that your line weights and uh, the way it looks um, are similar and, and unified with your other legends that you've made so far. So hopefully this converts correctly and we I have to do this again. Thank you.